I am so excited to review this. Welcome to my channel. I do unboxing and taste test of food. So, right now we're doing the Field and Farmer Vegan Queso Party Dip. Big flavors from small farms. I love the ingredients. They're very clean. Cannelloni beans, cauliflower water, sunflower oil, nutritional yeast, salt, green banana flour, tomato paste, jalapeno, citric acid, onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, turmeric powder. That's it. To me, that is a fairly clean ingredients. Um, so the company was nice enough to send me this. And they sent me two other dips, which I'm also going to review that. But I have reviewed a lot of vegan type dips. And I'm still going to continue to review more. So I have high hopes for this. Because my favorite vegan queso is normally made with cashews. But I'm trying to stay away from them because they can be high in fat. And, you know, just want something alternative. And... Cannoli beans, that's high in fiber. Cauliflower is also high in fiber. And those are like, to me, superfoods. So, um... Hmm, it's very interesting. It's a little bit on the watery side, as you can see. But... Not, I mean, not watery, watery, but it's very liquidy. So I've already got it. I put it in here to put the microwave. Because I don't like heating up plastic in the microwave. I don't think that's healthy. Um, oh, wow. It actually thickened. Now, that's really nice. I put it in the microwave and it, it thickened up. It looks kind of like a silky texture. Let me smell it again. Hmm. It's to me it smells like cheesy potatoes and beans. I hope this is good. No, I hope this is good. Cause I reviewed a lot. And I'll try to leave a link below the video on like a list of all my vegan cheeses so you can see. Dips and stuff, queso. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Should I start with the positive or negative? I'm getting some, um, hmm, like vinegar acid. That's really good. Other than that, it tastes really close to cheese. Okay, so, like, they did a really good job on this. Um, it's really, really, really smooth. There's something that has beans in it. Because I had another queso just recently that was made with beans from Whole Foods. I believe it was a Whole Foods brand, and it was kind of gritty and cauliflower. You know, that's like two things working against this company is the grittiness of beans and cauliflower. It's not gritty at all. It's really smooth. This is really close to cheese. I'm not going to say it's probably my best because my memory is really bad and I don't remember what my best was so far. But if it's not the best, it's really up there. And I'm, I don't, if I don't like something, I'm going to tell you. I don't care what the company thinks. This is really good. I don't know if you ever had like beans, like chips, beans, and cheese. It kind of is reminiscent of that where it tastes like queso mixed with like refried beans. It is a little bit kind of on the vinegar side. Let me taste it cold. It might be better. It might be not as good. Hence, I didn't say worse because it's not bad. Hmm. The vinegar. 
vinegar is not as strong. That's kind of odd. Oh, and the color changed too. Look at that. When I heated it up, it's more like more of a yellow color or it's more pale when you don't heat it up. That's that's interesting. Mmm. Okay. You can eat this dip cold and it's still good. And kind of waves, it's kind of better cold. It thickens up when you heat it up. That's a good thing. But when you heat it up, there's like a vinegar kind of strong taste. This is really good though. This is like really... Like definitely cheesy. The ratio of the ingredients all together, like there's not something that is stronger than the other, like, well, besides the vinegar. Other than that, though, it's not like, well, they should add a little bit of this or there's too much of this or, you know, I love on a stand cheese, the dip, but there's one thing about on stand that I don't like. There's a, there's an aftertaste. It's not bad, but like all their dairy chip, their non-dairy dips have like this aftertaste that you can tell is distinctly on a stand. Not that it's bad, but not really. I'm, I'm not crazy about it. Mmm. I can't believe how good that is cold. That is so good cold. That is, I've never, wow. Who's to think that a dip would taste good cold? A, you know, a cheese dip. Maybe I should use that as my thumbnail. Is this turning into a long mukbang? Mmm. Mmm. A little bit strong on the vinegar, though. But as pronounces when you heat it up. Other than that, this is... I want to give it a 10 out of 10, but then what if I find something that's better? So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to give it like a 9 point. A 9.6 out of 10. Yeah. A 9.6 out of 10. Is it a definite buy? Yeah. Am I going to definitely get it again? The company sent me this. So I'm hoping I can either order it or go to I think Sprouts carried some of their dips. Field and Farmer, Vegan Queso. I think that if you were like at a barbecue, a party or something, you know, like you didn't tell the people that it's vegan. I don't think. They might say, like if you was to tell them like there's something different about the dip, they might say, did you put beans in the dip? But I don't think they would say it's vegan. Like it's really, it's really close to real cheese. For some reason, I like it better cold, though. And the vinegar, the, there's a vinegar taste, something that's really pronounced more when you heat it up. Still good, though. And green banana flour, that's just interesting. This is amazing. I highly recommend this. I, like, really highly recommend. So, please comment. Oh, and I'm eating my favorite chips, too. Let me know what other foods you want me to try. I'll try to leave a list below the video of like all the different vegan queso like dips that I've, cause I've done honest stand and I can't think right now. I've done a lot and, um, I have some, uh, other ideas I'm going to maybe do for the channel, but my time's running out. So please comment, like, subscribe, let me know what other foods you want me to try and don't forget to hit the bell icon and, uh, this is really good. Highly, highly recommend this one. No strange aftertaste. Bye-bye.